All right, you all, let's go ahead. Let's talk about this. We did the test on the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. We did two tests. We always do one with everything on, and then we do another with everything turned off. All right, so we're going to start with everything turned on. But before we get started, we do we did do a video comparison uh, so far as the battery test is concerned with both my watches. I decided to go ahead and put the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic on my wrist just to see how it fares up against the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, especially, especially considering that the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro has a 590 milliamp hour battery and the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic only has a 361 uh, milliamp hour battery. Now, pixels are 450 by 450 for both this has sapphire glass. This doesn't. I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not. As you can see, there is a difference. We are going to do a comparison video between the two. And you can see the difference uh, so far as the glass is concerned. This one has uh, a lot of glare, right? Um, this one here, you can see that deep black in it, which I think looks a lot better. But you're going to get the protection you need on this one. We're going to save the rest for the comparison video. But yes, I did a battery test between both of these smartwatches, right? Now, we're going to start with everything turned on. Now, with everything turned on, I got home after leaving at 4 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon. I got home with 70%. 73% battery life and that means I got everything turned off right on both smartwatches you go into settings I mean Wi-Fi is off uh, and, and advanced features you know call the the wrist awake all that stuff is cut off except for my notifications that are important to me on both smartwatches but both smartwatches had exactly 73 percent i don't know how that worked how that happened but it did okay and so as it went through the day it was balancing out between one and two percent difference but for the most part they hung around the same percentage right now i only did it for that one day and then i left it alone because i was really surprised that the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic hung with the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Now, I'm going to do a part two. I got to do a part two of this, and I hope you guys agree with this because I need to make sure that every single thing, right? Maybe I did something wrong. I am not sure, but make sure everything, every single thing is set uh, perfect, right, on both smartwatches. So look out for a part two uh, comparison between uh, the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic and the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Uh, so far, the battery life is concerned. Okay, so now as the day went on, uh, we went to the next day. So this made it uh, over a 24-hour period, right? Uh, I ended up with 26% battery life uh, on the 26th of this of August at about 11 a.m. But I'm going to say you're going to get probably a day and a half with everything turned on. Now, I always do the test this way. So if you want to tweak your watch where you want to raise the wrist up and you want Google Assistant on or you want all your notifications on, you can tweak it. You can get a balance to where you will get more battery life, maybe almost two days, maybe two days of battery life. Depends on how you tweak the battery because I had, of course, the uh, display uh, turned up to about 115%. Okay, I, I know, not 115%. I know I can't go past 100, but you know what I mean. I had everything turned on on this smartwatch. So I got a day and a half. Now, I was very surprised simply because of the size of the battery on this watch. It's a 590 milliamp hour battery. Why isn't it not getting more battery life? Now, listen, hit me in the comment section down below, everybody. Everybody hit me. Let me know if you want me to do a video comparison uh, with the battery life uh, compared to the Galaxy Watch. Because remember, the Galaxy Watch got almost seven days of battery life, right? So I have to go back and watch that video and see how I did that one. Because this one here with 590 milliamp hour battery, I don't think it did the job it should have with everything turned on. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead. Let's check the results out for everything when it was turned off. All right, you all, let's take a look at this one. Now, I thought the watch did really, really well with everything turned off. I was very surprised at the results that I've seen. I mean, let me tell you first, I got everything turned off, right? Because this was the last test that I did. I mean, if you go into... Uh, uh, connections. I got Wi-Fi turned off. I got NFC turned off. I got everything turned off. Vibrate is always on. And then, of course, the display for the display, everything is turned off. 
uh, notifications. Uh, I had a couple of notifications that I left on that are very important. My email, those are normal. Uh, you're going to always want to get the important things, uh, text messages and things like that. I need to continue to get. So I left those on on both smartwatches. The uh, display, uh, all those things were turned off. Uh, and I put this in auto instead of turning it down. But this is normally where I would turn it down to. So I'm in a place uh, where I work where the lighting is even all the way across the board. And I still get out in the daytime. So it stays balanced for the most part. But the always on was turned off. The wrist awake. Uh, everything was turned off except for the touch of screen. But I found out I could have turned that off too. And just used the button. Okay. But I was tapping on the screen which was cool with me. I turned off the media control. Which I always leave on. So everything else to you all is turned off. And so uh, that made the test. Uh, very interesting. Of course, Samsung Health, I turned everything off. So everything is off here. So as you can see, everything was turned off. So I thought the battery life did really well, uh, considering uh, the battery size of the watch, right? And so check this out. Um, when I got home, the very first day I got home, and I didn't do the comparison with the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. I wasn't thinking about it at the time. But I got home with 90% battery life. I thought that was phenomenal, right? And it trickled down though, right? I mean, this, when I got home and I seen the battery life, I took the watch off. Because I, I can't do anything with it. I can't do no watch face reviews or anything because I'm still in the midst of making uh, this battery review. And so... About 10, 11 o'clock at night, it went down to 83%. Nobody's touching it. Nobody's bothering it. But it's still eating up battery life. And from 3 o'clock to 10 o'clock, that's quite a bit of battery life uh, to be eaten up. Now, this is on August 30th. Now, from August 30th to September 2nd, which is today... I ended up with 26% at 4 a.m. in the morning, right? And that was pretty good, right? That means that I got like over 72 hours of battery life. So 26%, I'm going to say the, the battery ran for about another three, four hours. So you're going to pretty much get three hours and some change, and that's it. That's all you're going to get out of the battery life. Again, I thought it would have been more considering that this should have been a beast of a battery within this watch. Now, this is Wear OS. The Galaxy Watch is Tizen. Maybe the operating system runs differently, but I wanna do a review with your consent. I wanna know that you guys wanna see this video between the Galaxy Watch and the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro battery test. All right, so hit me in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts on that one. Hit that like button, smash the notification bell. Remember you all, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. I got more content coming your way. And I'll see you all again at the next video. Enjoy, have fun, and be safe.